Hello everyone, I'm Molly from Bell Farms. So today's video is gonna be a breakdown of uh, part of the potato line since we finished our last uh, trail load. So I'm gonna show you guys that process. If you notice anything is missing behind me, we have the hopper is already out of here. Uh, next will be the fall sizer and then the potato washer. So Shane and Ray are gonna work on that stuff today and we'll see what this room looks like when we're all done. All right guys, so the equipment is out of the way. I'm gonna get back here and start helping these guys do some cleaning here. So uh, the drains, we've got these, you know, plumbing pipes that. I didn't catch that on camera either, but well, was that just water coming out of the pipe? No, the pump turned on and off. Oh. <laughs> okay. Not funny. Well, I about that, but it looks kind of cool. Once I change this elbow over, I'm going to have to it out. So we'll, we'll be able to take out the, uh, the drain that was under the washer. All that plumbing is going to come out. So we'll just have this one here underneath the polisher uh, that just turned on and sprayed chain. And the floor wet. 
All right, so I'm gonna actually get to work and help these guys clean the floor and we got a lot of organizing to do. We've got lots of pallets everywhere. Uh, we've got some Pennywise pallets going out. Dave's gonna take those in a couple days. We've got our load from Market Basket. Our very last load from Market Basket is gonna go out tomorrow. We've got tote bags. We gotta go get a count on the chefs and see how many we have in both, both buildings. Um, put away all these tens here. Yeah, so just gotta get the whole packing house organized. Um, yeah, all right, cool. So bring it back a little bit. So this is where we are right now. We've got all of our pallets moved over here. Shane did that. And this, I don't think this is all of our pallets, but I think that's most of what we have in stock right now. This area is all cleaned out. And this is where all that stuff was. Uh, working on the floor cleaner over here. So, oh yeah, this, so you guys, anybody who has concrete floors, uh, like polished cement floors, I'm sure this would work on just regular cement too, but um, this thing has been a lifesaver. Uh, it's a Phoenix. It, we got it through a uh, forklift company. What was that? Can't remember. Nitco. That's what it is around here, Nitco. So we got this through them and this thing has been awesome. It really has like upped our cleaning game in here. Uh, I'm sure they have lots of different models, but this is the one that we use and we love it. It's great. So I have been cleaning the floor over here. So we've got, you know, everything cleaned out here and the plumbing has been removed here. This bin here, this is gonna go back underneath the polisher. We will use that probably. Uh, you know, I'm gonna take all these dirty wheelbarrows and take those outside. We'll get those cleaned. And I think what we're gonna do for now is we're gonna leave this, this on here. Uh, normally when Raymond cuts seed in this building, we take this off. We have to clean everything in this room, get everything sanitized uh, for cutting seed. It's really important to make sure the building that you're using, uh, everything is really clean because you've got that new potato seed coming in. You don't want anything left over from the last uh, season um, to possibly contaminate your seed. So that's part of what we're doing today is we're getting things prepped for seed cutting. So for now, this is going to stay on, but I believe we're going to take this off um, when we get a little bit closer to cutting seed. So that gives Ray this whole aisle way here to have things. And then part of it will be outside as well. So this is what we've got going on outside. It is cold out here today. I think that like we're going to have a storm tomorrow. The farm store is going to be closed. So outside here, we've got our bins that we have, our potatoes, uh, waste potatoes, our feed potatoes for Larry. We've got the hopper out here, the fall sizer, and the washer. So what we're going to do with these things are we're going to wash them, clean them, sanitize them, and then they're going to go back in the building once they're cleaned. And then we're going to store them in one of those back bins where the potatoes, the, an old storage where the potatoes were. So we'll use uh, those bins as storage space until really until it's time to put potatoes back in there. So those bins all get cleaned out too. And um, yeah, so that really works out well. So that when it's time to actually pull the stuff out of storage, you just can like roll it down the aisleway and put it in place. I don't know, maybe you guys saw that video of putting in the old washer, but it was really easy this year. Uh, normally we've put them in trailers or put them in different places, but having them in that back bin has been the easiest thing that we've, we've done so far. So we're gonna do that again this year. Tractor still as is. <laughs> We're waiting for a very nice warm day to do this when we have a couple of hands around. So tractor hood's still hanging out here. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get to cleaning again and uh, I will show you guys what it looks like at the end of the day.
All right, guys, so what we're doing here is we are coming up with a setup to bag our tote bags into the new tech. This is something new, we haven't done this before, but this way we can take off that conveyor I was talking about. I don't know, we'll see how it goes, just an idea here. Well, it appears that it's working. Oh. I mean, that's not really a horrible fall, but I'd like to make it small, I guess. Let's see what it looks like from the side. Um, I think it just saw uh, this belting clamp something that's not doing anything. This one right here. Yeah. Two extra clamps there to go. So this is obviously just a little temporary thing. We're going to give it a try and see if this works. Um, if this works, then we can take that lift conveyor off the front of the polish here and that cleans out that area nicely. Well, that looks pretty good. Love it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that looks good. Can you clamp it to the actual elevator? No, that looks good. All right, seems like that's gonna work okay. is uh, we're not going to need as many barrels anymore. We really only need a few of those. So I'm going to take those outside also. And we have a cement pad out back there. Um, I'm going to put those on there and the rain will help wash them on a little bit until I get a chance to pressure wash them all. that's going to wrap it up for this video today. Uh, pretty satisfied with what we got done in the packing house. We got everything cleaned out nicely, working on the floor. We've got the baggers set up here uh, so that we can just bag out of the tote bags. We set up the 
We set up the tote bag filler over here. I know, I said I was gonna walk you guys around and I never do that. <laughs> and everything is cleaned up over here. Uh, we just gotta push that tote bag filler out and that's pretty good. So tomorrow is a snow day. So I'm gonna be home, I'll be working on some things. Should be the last snow day of the year. Uh, like I said, this is kind of the last little spit of winter here. But um, yeah, good day today. All right, thank you everybody for watching and uh, as always, <laughs> thank you everybody for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe.